Hi guys, uh, within the crazy heat, I'm not out here very long at a time. I've got back to the uh, rotary table setting up the chuck. I've had this locked onto the centering pin and I used the closest I had that I could get in because of the lack of space. Uh, I think it was a number two centre and I managed to eyeball that in X and Y directions to the point where it is extremely close. So then taking the chuck off I then got to get the plate. I've got some packing under there which should be enough just to suit. But what I've got to achieve here is uh, I'm going to have to try and get this fixed. I thought I might manage to just, to just nip it down at the edges, but it's no good. I'll have to make I'll have to make the T slot slots in this first, which I'll probably do crudely by grinder, because I've got my X and Y set up now, ready for getting the uh, three-hole pattern on here. So I'm going to prepare the plate, as I say, probably just a simple grinding job, certainly enough for the moment to, uh, to get this fixed onto the turntable. And uh, then I'll probably, using a centre drill, I think I'll get my three holes and after that I should be good to go in the drill press or uh, setting it up on here differently. I just want to get the first positions accurately. Well, this is a bit crude. I'm still locked on the uh, X and Y ready for this. And although these bolts are a bit long, I can get down onto here with the centre drill. I've got a very small one, and I've done these bolts up. I've got the cardboard underneath being corrugated, it's pretty strong. These haven't been over tightened, they're just cinched down just enough to hold this. And I've corrected from both all sides make sure that my center locates so the error should be minimal if not nothing <laughs> he said with optimism uh, so I'm going to do three three times 120 degree take this down as deep as I dare so I don't touch the uh, turntable and then we'll take it from there Right, well this looks pretty jury rigged, which it is, but <laughs> I don't know if you can even see the holes from there. I've got uh, just centre drilled, and with the limited clearance I've got, I'm going to see if I can put in a small stub drill. I've got a double-ended eighth actually, that might do. There's a bit of spring in the cardboard packing, so I can't be too vigorous, but once I've got a better hole, um, with a stub slightly bigger. I'll do the clearance and countersinking in the drill press on this nasty material. <laughs> I'm just using a 1564 actually, it's not quite clearance for the 6mm but it's a decent sized hole which will help when I get onto the drill press so we're going to advance round Get back to, uh, got to get that zero on there. Lock it up. And see, you will probably notice the plate deflecting slightly. These nuts are any finger tight.
that through. We'll just do the other one. One twenty back to zero. This is, as I said before, it's as the old expression I use goes, it's jury rigged. Basically, hopefully, the worst bit over. So, I'm going to finish off in the uh, drill press, I think, now. Alright, on the drill press now, I, uh, I used this 1564, it's in focus, <laughs> I used that as my centering set up in the chuck, set up the table for a height whereby the countersink could work and the these uh, six by one countersunk cap screws are, well not a cap screw is it, quite, um, they mic up at about 460 something like that so I'm just checking to see about 465 or something, but anyway, I've gone a bit deep. I want to, uh, if that shows, yes, you may just see we're just below, and I'm going to try and do the same on the other two. Right, well, we've turned around, got the same drill in there, we'll take that out and uh, put in the countersink. I haven't got a low low speed on this drill press. I think my lowest is about 250 which is not as low as I would like but I'm um, having to be pretty aggressive with pressure on this thing. It's a three-quarter six flute to try and stop chatter. clamps down there's a lot of a lot of torque on that I don't think we've moved enough to matter because it was engaged Careful. Yeah, still want a tiny bit more, so I'll finish that one down a little, and then do the last one, and then moment of truth time. Tell you what guys, I'm always going on about the heat, it must get boring, but it's 88. 88 in here and I'm dripping. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, a moment of truth. Uh, there's my centering pin. So we'll try and get that to stay put. Let's see what happens with these screws, bolts. This is me fumbling. 
Oh, stupid. Oh dear, gravity. <sighs> Try again, let's start that one. That's that one started. That one started. Oh dear. Ah, I mean the hole's beautifully lined up. God, talk about fumble, fumble. It would appear that our division has worked. Hallelujah. Oh, my hands, honestly, I'll tell you what, everything I've said this before, everything I touch, I also wipe my forehead, everything I touch is likely to rust, I'll have to give everything a treatment today, I think there's most possibly a slight need for a, a very slight need for a tweak, I went deep on the I went deep on the screws. Looks like that one will have to be just adjusted slightly. One thing I didn't do was make a an index mark. So I've just got to make a small adjustment there. It's very, very close. Anyway, um, I just, we're pretty much there, but I think these bolts might be just half a turn too long actually. We're still, still nicely centred, so I might have to tweak these screws, I thought they were, I thought they were long enough, so I'll check that out. Well, I realised that the uh, bolts were not too long. The problem actually is simply that the uh, having made fairly generous countersinks the base of the countersink is fouling on the top of the hole in the chuck uh, so I'm actually tightening down on the countersink so what we're going to do is very simple I will put a chamfer on the G-chuck so that the countersink can go in just that little bit more and then I think we're probably in business so I thought I'd throw that in as an afterthought just so that uh, you know why it wasn't quite tightening down and uh, I'm going to call it a wrap for the video because yes I know I'm there just can't get that final half turn but everything's lining up, that's good, and I'll put it back on the rotary table at some point and maybe do another video just trying it out. Alright, so uh, for now, this is a sweaty, sweaty old man <laughs> signing off. Um, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Particularly, it's supposed to be cooler later in the week, but that's all relative, isn't it? Uh, oh, thanks again, incidentally. Uh, to all my subscribers, <laughs> yes, uh, you must put up with this old man. I give you full credit for that. Uh, just passed four thousand, which it quite amazes me. Which your small potatoes compared to Adam Booth has just passed forty thousand. Good for him. But uh, this is the small potatoes channel. Little bits and pieces, no big shafts and hydraulics. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everybody. And uh, for the time being, I'll say thanks for watching.